So let's just pray for a moment. Thank you, Lord, for being a loving parent of us all, for seeing our minor life mistakes to the catastrophic choices we've made and loving us nevertheless, for nurturing us into being the person you want us to be. It is never too late for us to see our own mistakes, make the changes that we need to, and move forward positively in your precious name. Amen. Tyler is now going to be leading us in our prayers for others, for our world, followed by the Lord's Prayer. And we are then going to have a time of quiet for us to pray in our minds. Consider perhaps something that might have struck you today um, from today's message, uh, or just have a few minutes of silence to yourself when no one asks anything of you. Time of peace for you in a noisy and demanding world. Thanks, Tyler. Let us pray. Do not harm the heart or the sea or the trees. Revelation 7, verse 3. We pray for all refugees and asylum seekers who are forced to leave their homes in fear and who face danger and hardship on their way to safety. May God move our hearts to offer a generous and warm welcome to them since they are so precious in His sight. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, prayer. We pray for the church that she may be beacon of hope throughout the world, reminding us all of our responsibility to care for and protect God's precious gift of creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, our common home, that through God's grace we may hear his cry of the damage done and be moved to protect it for the future generation to endure. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those people who are already facing droughts, floods, and storms, that God may grant them strength and hope for the future as they work to adapt to their changing climate. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish and our local community that through the grace of God we may hear the urgent cry of the heart and of the poor and be inspired to respond at this crucial time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world we live in, that God may open our eyes to recognize the goodness of all creation and help us to do what we can to restore and care for the wonderful gift that we have been given. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders, that God may grant them wisdom to make just decisions with, with, with respect they have and all that gives in especially those who are poorest and most vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our local community that through God's grace we may be good, be good neighbors to each other and to the whole of creation, restoring and caring for all that God has made. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us say the Lord's prayers together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As he forgives us and chastises us, lead us up into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom. Amen.
we reach the ending of today's service. We can join together now in our final two songs. If you would like to and are able to, please stand, sing, King of Kings, then the Lord's Mash.
If anybody would like to pray with somebody after the service or chat to somebody, there are members here who are wearing the green lanyard and they'd be very happy to see God of grace, it is our delight and our devotion to give these gifts to you, be they cash offerings or received by stamping order. All we are and all we have are yours alone. Accept this our offering as a token of our abiding love in the name of Christ, Amen. May the joy of Christ enrich you, the humility of Christ empower you, and may the light of Jesus Christ shine within you and go before you today, tomorrow, and every day. Amen. Amen.